The CDC is warning travelers to take precautions as it continues to monitor an outbreak of monkeypox, which is a viral infection that has spread to 16 countries, including the United States. In fact, there are two presumptive cases here in Florida, specifically in Broward County. Dr. Kartik Cherabudi is an infectious disease doctor with the University of Florida and is joining us via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, I think all of us hear virus and we immediately start worrying about pandemic as we think about COVID-19 and how much it has changed our lives over the last two and a half years. Would you explain in the context of something like COVID-19, what is monkeypox and how does it spread? I think number one, monkeypox is an old disease. It's been known for years and years. It's, we've had outbreaks of this in many countries. We've had one outbreak in the United States linked to prairie dogs being positive for monkeypox. So this is not new. I think that's number one, that this is not a novel disease that we don't know anything about. We know about this. What's different this time is we are seeing cases that are not associated with travel to these countries. So that's what is new. Countries like the UK, the US, the European countries didn't have transmission within this country. So that, that's new, but again, this doesn't require you to run out to get a vaccine. It doesn't require you to go up and stock up on medication. Almost all of the cases have self-resolved. They haven't required additional vaccines or treatments. People who've had this have improved on their own. So it's interesting because I've been reading a lot on this because of course we all worry sometimes, you know, and we initially heard that at this point that most of the cases have involved members of the bisexual and gay community. Does that mean that it's only certain groups that need to be concerned about this? Or do we all as, as the public need to be worried about this virus? You're right, the majority has been in the gay and bisexual community, but not all of them. And because this is a disease that affects the skin, um, Anyone can get it, and we all need to be aware of it. So universally being aware, not panicking, as we talked about, knowing that these present as small fluid-filled blisters, almost like what you see with shingles or chicken pox. They're seen usually on the hands and the face. What we're seeing with this outbreak is that they're present more in the genital region, but any part of your body could be involved. If you see these lesions, contact your clinician, and or, and or contact the health department because they know the right test to be sent out from the health department to the CDC to confirm the diagnosis. And would you remind our viewers how monkeypox is spread? In in countries where this is common, it's it's spread from animals to humans commonly, and then from humans to humans. The predominant pathway in in some of these countries where outbreaks happen can be from the respiratory tract where people present with a flu-like illness, some cough and these skin lesions. So you can spread it by through cough and through contact with these skin lesions because they're fluid-filled vesicles. When they break open, the discharge, if you're in direct contact with the skin, which has to discharge, or if someone slept in the same bed and then you sleep there, you can still get it. So you can be contact through direct skin-to-skin -skin prolonged contact or through prolonged contact with fomites such as bed sheets and others. Um, and a smaller component we're seeing in this outbreak through the respiratory tract. Okay. So it's predominantly contact and prolonged contact. And I think that's an important point also to, to mention is it's, it, it's, uh, it's, not as, as, it's not spread as quickly through the air, correct? I mean, this requires close contact with someone who's infected. Yes, you're absolutely right. And it's not um, traditionally the way an STD spreads. Uh, it, sex can be prolonged contact, and that's how the, uh, it's thought to spread, is the lesions around the genital region or are in other parts of the skin, um, and not as much through the air, like you said. So it can't be explosive spread, but we are vulnerable to it because it's been many years since the smallpox vaccine has been stopped since 1972. So those born after haven't received the vaccine. So we are immunologically naive to it, as in we've not had exposure to either monkeypox or the smallpox vaccine. And those who were born uh, had the vaccine in the 50s and early 60s, their, their immunity comes down a little bit. So, so we are we be calling our doctor and asking f whether or not there's a, you know, to, whether or not we need to be vaccinated for monkeypox since there is a vaccine for it? 
Great question. No, um, because at this time, really, the spread is really slow, like you said, and requires prolonged contact. The older smallpox vaccine does have some side effects. At this time, what we're saying is be aware, recognize this early. It's self-limited, so get care early to prevent its spread and to get the best care for you. But don't be calling your physician's office for a vaccine. Dr. Cheraboudi, an infectious disease doctor with the University of Florida. Thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.